What's good, free gang? We are coming to you live, but not live, from our kitchen in London. And we've got some bad news. Sorry to start the vlog off with bad news, but the juicer we had. Wait, wait, wait. Where's, where's the sad music? Oh, there we go. So the juicer we had, you know that juicer. We loved a bit of juicing in the mornings. We'd get up, we'd chop up those oranges, those lemons, maybe a grapefruit, put it on that juicer, all the juice come out, and we'd drink it, and we had so much fun in our lives, and, but it broke. It's gone. But yeah, so we just went and bought another juicer. But look at this bad boy. That'll teach us for buying cheap juicers because the other one was really cheap. But this one was a bit more expensive. But look at it though, it's a beast. You pull a handle down and everything. It's quicker, it's more efficient. Jojo, are you going to give us a live demonstration? Yes, of course, remember we need to actually chop the fruit first. Yeah. Good thinking, mummy. So, here is a demonstration. Good. Um, excuse me? Uh -uh. Is it plugged in? <laughs> yeah. Hang on. No! <laughs> Hang on, let me, let me see. What the hell? It's not working! No! no! This is not good. What the hell's happened? Right, hang on, let me take it apart. We're gonna have to do another sad video. Wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. Oh, it is, so you were, oh. Right, we've literally no idea what has happened, but it's working now. I think it just wasn't put together properly. Maybe, yeah. That'll teach us for starting a video like that. I oh, know. Flip! Look how quick that was. Yeah, yeah look. just cut the whole way through, though. Mm. Right, Good next work. one. It gives me great pleasure to start this video with Juicy! Wow, that absolutely flies out there. It's so fierce! If you're wondering why I'm shouting Juicy, then there's a story behind it. You can check out the video in the corner where we actually tell you about this story. Don't put your tongue in there to get the juice out! So in a couple of days, we're going to be leaving the country, flying away. So today and tomorrow, we're really, really going to be packing things. Yeah, we've got tons and tons of sorting out to do. You know when you're going away and you leave everything to the last minute? So we've got to start packing. We're only taking hand luggage with us. That'll be interesting, trying to get things in there. We've got to get the washing done. We've got to get the place clean. We've got to get all our fruit eaten. Yeah, they're ripe and ready they're to really go. Ripe. There was one time when we flew to America, we had even more bananas than this. And we just thought, we'll just take all the bananas with us on the plane we put them in a bag and then they started to go brown because you can't take fruit into america we were like we've got to get these bananas eaten it felt like a weird brown banana eating competition didn't it who won you remember you did we're gonna like probably put them in smoothies today do you know what's really nice like oats with chopped up banana oh i haven't done that in a while have we mm. a bit of milk in there another bit yeah. so yeah we've got to get all our fresh stuff eaten yeah. all the oranges are getting done now we need to juice some lemons as well yeah we sometimes put lemons in here as well because it's like oranges don't have as much vitamin c as we th we're led to believe lemons have a lot more this one not getting juiced is it or are you just testing it before is this like a pre-juicing test look at him just casually one arm on there juicing one while eating the other <laughs> I do this all the time. You're taking all of the juice out of it. Well, that one's lost, isn't it? We're supposed to be supervising him, mummy. Oh, mummy, you have a beautiful glow behind you. Do I? You're a heavenly being, aren't you? Look at my socks. Oh, yes. Yes, your socks are very, very snazzy. I know. I feel bad to hench over one, nicking snazzy a lot nowadays. But some things are just snazzy. You can't do, help it. Do you know what I figured out? You know, like, in this country, I don't know if it's in all countries, like, duvet, they have a rating of warmth. It's called a tog rating. So if it's like a 15 tog quilt cover, it's really, really warm. These socks have that rating. What rating are they? They're like 4.5 or something. Can anyone outdo a 4.5 tog sock? Comment below. That's a good amount of juice. What are you adding in there now? The super green powder? Excuse the no noise of the washing machine. I've got tons of washing to do today. How dare you, you inconsiderate vlogger. Right, so we like this superfood blend. Superfood blend. You've got that nice cheesy vase next to the packet there, like you're selling it. I'm not sponsored. We are yeah. not sponsored. Have you got a secret business on the side you haven't told me about? I wish. I'd be a millionaire. Also, we're going with the powder first. So yeah. powder per jar rather than in the mixture. Ah, uh, Jojo puts the powder on top, doesn't he? Does he? Yeah. Oh. How dare he? It's like people with tea. Some people put the milk in first, don't they? And then some people put the water in first and then milk after. These are other things that basically divide good and bad people in the world. <laughs> it's like Marmite or not. Okay. This is a crap. Oh my goodness! Hang on, I I can I can. <laughs> you I can, better do. You're I, wasting. You've got to go. Put. You've got to commit. You can't be slow. All Forget right. about all this graceful all pouring right. for camera. Get it in the glass. Get the job done. Bing bang bosh. It does look very nice, but until you do this. Well, yeah. No Green's Jojo's favourite colour. Right, Jojo, your juice is ready. Juice. Here we go. On a scale of one to ten, how do you rate how good that is? Eight. Ooh. Oh. I've got the pulp. Yeah, Daddy always likes to eat the pulp. I don't, we don't want stuff going to waste because a lot of it comes out, doesn't it, when you juice? Yeah. So. Nothing gets wasted here. Yeah. 
That's why we call him Daddy Dustbin, because anything anybody doesn't eat, he eats it. It's got alliteration, which is always fun. Daddy Dustbin. You want your juice, Daddy? Mmm. Daddy. Thank you. How do you rate that? Scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to go for a 9. Ooh. Yeah. Pinky up and everything. Yeah, I was thinking, I don't even like wasting the peel. Oh no, do we know of anything we can do? Make marmalade out of oranges. Because I think you need the whole orange to make it, I'm not sure. Okay, comment below. If anyone got any idea of what to do with certain like orange peels, because we use those a lot in juicing. Is there anything that can be done with that? Or can you make marmalade? Comment below. We need your help. Jojo, porridge. Oh, what's in there? Everything's in there. And strawberries. Oh, you want strawberries in there as well? Mummy. Good, strawberries. That would never happen on my watch. You know what we were saying about Daddy Dustbin? He even eats the tops of strawberries. Tops of strawberries are good. Just gonna put your hair up, all right? We don't want the hair to be part of the porridge. We don't want porridge to get in my hair. No, you don't want hair to get in the porridge. Porridge and hair should both be separate entities. They don't get on well, do they? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to? I know, I know, here's a joke. Why did six hate seven? I don't know. Because seven ate nine. Someone, right. Someone said that one in the comments. Yeah. Quick mention, by the way, last video actually, where we said, let us know your jokes, your responses were brilliant. There were so many jokes that I had never heard before, and all of them were so funny as well. That's really, really good. I was good. actually falling about laughing at something. Yeah. They it was so really funny. surprising us. Not that I don't think you, you guys aren't funny, of course not. You know, I'm teaching you well, right? Show me what you built there, Jojo. It's a race track. You built a racetrack out of magnets. Yeah. Show me how the car goes around it. Jamie's here. But where are you going? Bristol. I'm not happy about this. She's going for a long drive. How are you getting there, I wonder? Me! It takes four hours to get to Bristol and she's going the whole way on a moped. Well, no, it takes about two and a half, but because she's avoiding motorways and taking a safer, slower route, she's going the long way around. Which is good, at least she's singing of safety. Oh. Jojo, what are you doing there, mate? Just doing some math. You've got some subtraction sums there, haven't you? So with Jojo's learning, a lot of the time he tends to start off the day doing that, but today he wanted to just get in and play. He's been playing with his toys, his magnets, which is fine. We just let him do what he feels at the time and then he comes to the learning eventually. He's done everything backwards today, haven't you? I know. You? I think because we were out yesterday a long time, weren't we? Yeah. He likes being at home and he likes getting his toys and everything again. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. How many fingers did it take to get to nine? Seven, Seven yeah. The answer is seven. Bob? Yes? Can you get the suitcases down for me, please? Oh, we're at that point, are we? Yes. Okie dokie. I'm kind of in the middle of my own packing here because... It looks like you're unpacking yeah, I'm just... loads of jelly. I know, what's all this still doing in here? This is all the jelly we bought from the festival yesterday. Mummy, I have to be honest though. Mm. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Some packing has begun, Mummy. You've gone into serious mode again, haven't you? I'm trying to do the most minimalist packing I can possibly do. Because we're not taking checked luggage, are we? No. Are you going to tell them about the problem that we've got? We have many problems. Where do I begin? <laughs> So yes, the problem of kittens, they've become a slightly bit more active, haven't they? I'm trying to get things done. I'm trying to get packed and get my bedroom sorted out and get the washing done. And every five minutes you have to go in there where they are in Jamie's room because they are just climbing on everything now. They're walking around. We've had to like put teddy bears in places where we don't want them <laughs> to go. It all started last night, wasn't it? About 11 o'clock last night, do you remember? Oh yeah. What the yeah. hell is going on? Oh my goodness. That was crazy. Just when you think they're all settling down and then you just see Jamie there with all of these little ones running around. I think right now they're sleeping. Should we check? See, this is the handy thing. Cats sleep a lot. <laughs> None anymore. Uh, well, no, look, one of them's awake. Look. One over the back over there. You can see where we tried to shove cuddlies in between. So they can't go down. And Donald yeah. Duck's there, but. A bit around the corner there. 
purple one. Behind that is a yellow one, which one of them actually got out. Over here, there was a blanket going on top of a tub and there's cushions and everything blocking because one of them was climbing over, had got up the blanket and started climbing over the top and started getting through. I don't know what they think is in that corner, like the promised land or something. You've got to take more control, cat to me. There's one of them that are like sleeping on here. He pulled this blanket down so that he could sleep on there. One minute you're trying to get things done and then all of a sudden you're just here. And they're, and they're fighting. There's one of them though who's stirring it all up. This little one here with mostly black fur is normally starting fights with the other two. If anyone are wondering why the kittens are over here opposed to where they were on the blankets underneath Jamie's desk, it's because Katsumi just started moving them and she just did not want to be over there with them anymore and just sat here. I tried to put a blanket here and she just would not lie down in it and I just had to really follow her behaviour and really try and figure out what she wanted. And they've been here the whole time. I think, it, you know, it's laminate flooring. It's not as warm, it's a bit slipperier. It's maybe not as comfortable for them, but we're having to keep the heating on. We've pretty much kept the heating on the whole time for yeah. them. Yeah, I worry about that because then they slip around on this floor. Yeah, what, I mean, they walk okay most of the time and then sometimes they just slide but backwards. There's, yeah, there's one that goes backwards. Yeah, moonwalking. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel and are wondering about this cat, she's not actually our cat. She actually lives at a different place nearby here but over the last two years has decided to come and spend time with us and nest with us whenever she's been pregnant and on this occasion she actually had the babies here has kept them here and wanted to keep them here the whole time but we knew the time would come when we're going away in a few days that no one's going to be here to look after them i mean our older kids work and everything and we had to weigh up the situation of can we leave the cat here without the possibility for her to go back there and eat like she has been doing or is it a case is it she's better that if she's in a place that she may not want to be in but at least she can be fed but in the end we've managed to figure something out the kids you know we spoke to them to see what they could do and Jamie's managed to free up some time that she can be here in the weekdays to be here to let Katsumi in and out because she goes back to have food at the other place so that's good the kittens are going to be staying with us which is what we want we, we know they're happy here we don't want to upset them move them and shift them we saw what happened last time it's all working out for the best and Sam's going to be here on weekends and evenings as well when he's not at work so they'll get a lot of time they'll get a lot of care and yeah it's just about being able to let her out to go and get food and come back should we come back when they're walking around then yes <laughs> I like the piece for a bit, no. No, peanut butter makes you shrink. And my arms make me jump around. All right, so I want to see what you look like when you shrink and jump. Mm. I'm definitely not having any of this, no way. You're going to end up shrinking and jumping. I'm impervious to such things, Katie. That doesn't happen to me. I'm back to normal now. All back to normal? Yeah. Oh, what did you have to do to stop being a shrunken person jumping around? Drug some water. Oh, simple That's as that. That's the only thing that can solve stuff. Water is life, it can solve everything. Snackage has moved on from bananas and peanut butter to dark chocolate rice cakes and banana. Making you fly like a bird, evidently. <laughs> yeah, that's been making me fly like a bird. Um, I'm the washing. <laughs> the mound of washing. So there's clothes there, clothes there, pre-flight mess. Jojo, we need magic. Get your magic wand. Can you mag magic all that washing onto there, please? I'm scared, man. Because this is Jamie's wand and she's a slithering, so I don't know if this is going to work. Is this going to work? Yeah. It worked! Oh, thank you, Jojo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean we've had the ability to do this the whole time and you've been roping me in? <laughs> Unbelievable. It's cool, is it shut? It electrocuted me. Well, that's a slithering one. It's good for washing, but not good for you. In case you didn't hear that, that wand is Jamie's wand. It's not Jojo's wand, and Jamie is a slithering. So, you know, what can you do? You know, we tried to talk to her about it, but sorting hat chose. Jojo's having his lunch, and he's decided to sit at his desk on top of his trunky. Good old trunky. Yeah. Trunky's only out because we got all of these out. It's not a regular seat in the household. He's been riding around it. He missed his trunky. Yeah, you've been riding around on it all day, haven't you? Yeah, trying to get to places. Meanwhile, there's a giant beast draining a man away. Copyright at last. Bob, Bob, the kittens are awake. Are they causing havoc again? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> One of them was out here a minute ago. It's like they want to get down this gap. Cuddly Donald Duck is holding the fort. And look, they're just attacking her. You're trying to clean them. This is what happens though when kids get bathed. Waving, look, look, look. <laughs> and this one's just climbing on the back. Look, 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 she's like eating her ear. This one's a nibbler. 
I was stroking her yesterday and she was looking at my finger like, that looks tasty. Look at those two, look. Cat's mirror's getting out of there. Smart idea. These two are having a proper full on wrestle. No. Do you think they're a bit upset that they're on top of a mouse that's bigger than them? <laughs> <laughs> What's that one doing over there? Look, look at them go. This is the one that keeps trying to escape and go to promised land. Oh, the way they're walking. The only thing about these guys is they wake up at like so early in the morning. Don't they, they had me running out there at 6 a.m. this morning. Katsumir wanted to go out and then she came back and then I could hear them making sounds. So I come in here and then one was there, another one under there and then one out here. Jamie said she's woke up in the middle of the night and they've been all around the room. You're trying to climb up there. You're trying to get in the box. They're trying to get in that gap. No, I've made it secure. They're knocking down Donald Duck. Leave Donald Duck alone. Just because you're scared of two giant mice. Are your mummy? It's just beautiful life, isn't it? What's happened? Come out of there! Look, she sneaked down a gap and then went down there. Ah! Uh, oh. Had to pull out a tub. Come out here, you! Come, Come on. on! Come on, you! Uh oh, this one's Ooh. trying to escape out the door. Come now. <gasps> it was a team distraction. Make us look that way. Yeah, tell her, cat to me. Yeah, mummy's not happy. Don't you do that, I was worried sick. All cats like to leave the under the bed area, please. Can't believe she squeezed uh -oh. in Uh-oh. Now cats in here. <laughs> she's gone around outside. the back. This is what they've no caused name. for the last few cats days. Cats in getting comfy. She's like, come in everyone. Look, cats in is lying down behind there. <laughs> I wasn't opening up the space. You're like the cat man. This one's like moonwalking behind me. You're the kitten man. Come on, come on, come on. She's wanted that all along to be right under there, but I don't think no, it's, it's good just... for them all to be come right on. under there. And we can't clean it very well. What I'm worried about more is them climbing up and getting stuck in tubs. So this is what happens very frequently every day. This is what we have to contend with. They're out, they're exploring, they return to mummy. Sometimes mummy comes out with them. Sometimes they stay there and they just fight. Look, where's that one going? They're going behind the mirror. Everyone knows what's behind the mirror. What's happening? Yeah, it's a bit tight to turn around in there, isn't it? Where are you going? Checking yourself out, eh? None of them have ventured this far before. Where's mummy? Someone suggested a good name for a kitten. Padfoot. Ah, that is serious black. Here we, we go. Yeah. Just needed to find mummy. Here we go. Oh. Now it's time to pile on each other. Look, look, look. Absolutely unapologetically over the siblings. <laughs> Mom. Yeah, no, mum's not happy. Why did you bring them back? <laughs> So Katsumi has just gone out to get food. But we thought we'd move them up here just to give them a bit of a different environment. And give them some light because yeah. it's, they don't really know the difference between day and night at the moment because yeah. she took them under the bed. It's very dark under there. But yeah, they really enjoy them. They've been moving more here than they have anywhere. And they haven't been making any sounds that would suggest that they may be asked distress. You can't go off the bed. You'll fall. This one, look. Look. Keeps trying to climb. That one just sees a wall and think that's a challenge. They can walk a lot better on this kind yeah. of, on this fabric, can't they? Yeah. Don't use my hand as a way to climb up. <laughs> Where are you going? They find gaps and everything. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Mm. Look at my eyebrow. Oh. Those claws feel nice. <laughs> Mum, mummy, be back soon. Where is she going in there? Which one would you choose, Bob, if you could keep one? <clears throat> oh, I don't know. I've always loved this one, but I think that's just more as I like the pretty he, variation yeah, of colour. Yeah, he looks. They've got the big eyes, haven't they? He yeah. Has. He looks different. But I, like, I don't know, I love the, He's trouble. This one's trouble. Yeah. Because <laughs> he just like beats everybody up. He starts trouble. What about you? Uh, this one. This one here? Mm. What about you, free gang? If you could have one, which one would you have? Let me make this clear. I'm not offering them out. I'm just saying if there was one that you would love to have with you, which one would it be? Which is going to go for black one, black and white, stripey. 
from me. Ah, oh, Katsumi's back. Okay. Oh, hello. Here we're talking. Hey, mummy's back now. It's interesting, she came back like proper having some things to say and she was looking around like, what's been happening while mm. I've been gone? What have you kids been up to? So we're kind of permanently camped in Jamie's room at the moment while we're on kitten watch. Luckily though, it's okay because Jamie's not here. Yes, <laughs> otherwise I don't think we'd be allowed to just sit here for so long. Well, she'd be doing, she'd be on kitten watch, wouldn't she? Yeah, we're really happy that we were able to give you a positive update. A lot of you guys have been asking for kitten updates, wanting to know what's happening with them. And after we told you in the previous video that they would be going back, we're so happy that we're able to tell you that we got it sorted out. So thanks for keeping up with this journey and sending the good vibes this way because mm. you've all sent a lot of love for this these kittens and you know we've been giving them as much love as possible so we're going to round this video up a bit earlier today just because we've got to go out this evening we've got a lot of packing to do as well but we're going to see some friends and Jojo's going to go see his friend and have a play date but before we do round out I'm going to give some shouts to some of you lovely free gangers who have requested them so the shout outs to the following people Katie Gumbel, Nomi E, Ollie Spiller, Karis Swans O, Angel Wilson, Aaron Wayne TV, Ashley Girati and last shout out special one to Louise May and if it's the Louise May we're thinking of who is related to us then hello and we hope to see you soon hey lulu if it's not that louise may though if it's not that louise may we still send you lots of like good we, positivity and everything and but, thanks. but we probably won't see you soon <laughs> yeah we probably won't see you soon but thanks for your comment yeah. anyway and if you guys ever want to shout out or if you've requested a shout out before put it in this video we'll get it done next video the video after even if we do miss some or if you've requested before we'll still do them again we really appreciate you guys always watching but if you're new to this channel though we'd love it if you subscribed and joined the free gang and leave your comments below as well we love reading your comments it's the best part of the day especially if they're some of the funny jokes we've received recently and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for always watching peace out Bye. meow